Hey Mario Karters and Frenzy fans, welcome to our channel. It's the autumn tour. Autumn, I love the fall. Are you excited for this tour? They got pumpkins all over all of the tracks. They're just so big and it's so fun to hit them. And they don't slow you down at all. No, thank goodness, otherwise I'd be frustrated. Yeah. I'm excited. It's a good life when you get to hit pumpkins. It feels so good not having like a gazillion city tracks that are just really hard to keep combo on, really hard to get points on. Yep. Oh, woe is me. Frenzy Fanboy cries a little. It's a rough life for Frenzy Fanboy in the household when it's a city track tour. But I'm excited for this tour because mm -hmm. we got the Monty Mole Cup and we got some fun races yeah, we in do. rank this week. So we're going to do a little bit of a uh, ranked review. I like it. We're also going to take a little bit of a look at the uh, ACR points predictor calculator because recently we've had some viewers that uh, have been saying that they want to try for ACR. Yeah. They like this Tanuki badge. And so we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of a tutorial, I guess, and just kind of talk about it a little bit to make sure that people are well acquainted with how to get it, what to do with it, and how it helps you out. Sounds fabulous. So, just in case you're not familiar with the ranked score predictor, it's in the description. Check out the description. There are two links. The first of the mm -hmm. two links is uh, this. Mario Kart race score predictor. It's got three tabs that have three races that you would use for uh, your ranked cup. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go over all the inputs that you have to put in there and see if the score that it calculates, how it matches up against your current competition, mm -hmm. and if you need to use any tickets. Yep. In order to be able to beat them. Heck yeah. Because we want those rubies and we want those tickets. Yeah. And it saves you a lot of tickets long term if you just know exactly where to spend your tickets wisely or if you know you don't have to use them. For example, I know because of the calculator that in order to get first place, I have to spend a lot of tickets. But if I don't spend any, well, I can get second. Possibly. You know without the calculator. <laughs> well, it's really obvious. <laughs> when, but... you're, when you're in second place, but first place is 13,000 ahead of you. I was trying to give them an example. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one minute. So if, if you're 13,000 behind, you probably don't need the calculator. If you're within like five or 6,000, then slapping a couple tickets strategically on some of your loadouts, mm -hmm. the calculator will definitely help you out. Cool. So we're going to take a look at the first uh, race and we're doing a little bit different of a, of a setup here. Yeah, I like it. I've got... Uh, a split screen on my phone. Okay. So on the top half of the screen is the calculator and yep. on the bottom half of the screen is the Mario Kart app. I like it. And so it's a much better user experience. We're there. just we're just instead of flipping back and forth, mm -hmm. um, we're just gonna stay on the same screen the whole time. I like it. And just see how it goes. Let us know if you like this better than the flipping back and forth. Yeah, if this is annoying and it's too hard to see, let us know and we can yeah. go back to flipping the from screen to screen using the full full frame of the app. All right, so we got Maple Treeway. You gotta put in your player level right here. And this course, if you have, there are two coin boxers as yep. well as two lucky sevens and maybe even, nope, no more lucky sevens. So you got two coin boxers and two lucky sevens. And if you have them leveled up high and you're gonna be using them, you can expect to get probably around 200 actions. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So we put in the 200 actions here. And this one's a little tough to get nonstop combo because it's a little bit longer mm -hmm. of a course. And let's be honest, Mario can be mean. The bots, they can be nefarious. They're, yeah. And they can ruin your really good. Okay, so <laughs> there were some people that were sharing some scores today. Okay. I saw someone that um, got 278 actions on this, on this Maple Treeway race. What? Triple coin box frenzy with four normal coin boxes. No way. And came in third. No! <gasps> and what was their score even in third? It should have been killer. It was over 50,000, I think. That's amazing. Yeah, it was... Oh. Mario! My heart <laughs> shed a little bit of a tear because yeah. I've... I've been there, not 
out of 270 some odd actions and getting third, but yeah. definitely grinding for a long time. And boy, <laughs> and, does he get grumpy. Oh, man. Mario, sometimes he can do us dirty. It's just the way he rolls. Okay, so here I've got two coin boxers. Okay. I've got my tried and true Santa Bowser. Um, he's at level seven. Okay. Just recently I got him up to level seven in the Kamek Tour. So fun. But double uncapped. Are you thinking about triple uncapping him ever? Um, if the conditions are right. Okay. If I don't already have a triple uncapped level seven coin boxer yeah. <laughs> in the same race, Fair enough. <laughs> then Fair enough. Um, it would be considered. But this is actually the very first triple uncapped level seven high end that I've ever had. That's awesome. I did it. Um, I did King Boo gold during the Bowser versus DK tour because yep. that was my first attempt at the, the big okay. 100 ACR. So we'll be using him. So I've got level seven up here and base points of 1400. Then moving on to the carts. All right, so I've got a couple level one carts, a level two cart, and level three cart. But then we got this guy right here, a sunset cloud, level seven, okay. and double uncapped. So you can see up here, level seven, 595, double uncapped. And if you guys are new to this tour, it gives you a little drop down and you literally don't have to type anything in. You just select what level you're at and what base points you have. If you're new to the tool? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then as far as gliders go, it looks like I have a level six swooper. I think a lot of people are going to have a swooper at a high level. Also have the butterfly sunset, which mm -hmm. is in the tier shop. Tier shop, so you only have week. to use two tickets on it if you want to get it to level six. If I were to buy it. That's cool. But then... I also have oh. my Bowser versus DK Tour yep. investments of the 8-bit bu eight bullet bill. That'll be a cheaper investment then. So he's two tickets away from level 7 mm -hmm. and double uncapped. Okay, and he's a bullet, obviously, is his skill. What is the sunset one? Oh, the sunset? Or the pl like the plus skill? Mega Mushroom. Mega Mushroom. Mm -hmm. Cool. So up here in the calculator, we got level six mm -hmm. and 595. So based on the bonus points per action, um, anticipated 58 bonus points per action. Now, if you do get a nonstop combo um, and a lot of coins and especially jumping off of jumps and hitting as many pumpkins as you can, you might be able to get that up to like 60, 62. Mm -hmm. 64 might be pushing it okay. because you're gonna have so many coins Usually if you have like bananas, a lot of bananas and like mm -hmm. a bunch of jumps, then um, you're up in this, the mid 60s, but 58 is probably safe. Cool. Okay. So it looks like we'd get about 50,000. So Solid. I'm really hoping that this is going to be like a good, you know, strong yeah. like 51, 52, maybe 53,000. That'd be cool. Run. I'm hoping for that for you. Yeah. Especially if other people are able to pull off 275 actions. You just put 200 up there, right? Yeah. So this was yeah. 200. Um, little fun fact. If you score uh, or if you have more than 200 actions in a race, you stop getting the bonus points boost. Yep. Which can be um, quite a few points if you have a lot of leveled up things. Yeah. So um, your score doesn't increase as dramatically at that state. Yeah, you can go from getting about like 150 to like maybe 175 points per action that you do. Okay. Down to like maybe like 50 or 60 points cool. per action. Um, so yeah. So then we have the Sunset Wild T. Okay. So we'll go ahead and go over here to the next tab. So it's got Sunset Wild T. Again, player level is 150. And I think 155 actions is fair. Cool. Um, there aren't any coin boxers here, but I think there are... Is this guy lucky seven? Ooh, Luigi Painter. If nice. you unlock him at level three... He pops up. You could have um, a, a lucky seven awesome. player. Um, I'm going to be using, though, Peach Wedding because she's at level six. Smart. And double uncapped. Yeah. Guys, let us know in the comments what you guys are using. I love learning about other people's, See, uh, people's loadouts, loadouts and, stuff. and stuff. Yeah. Um, excuse me. When did you get Mario Baby Koala? Have you had him for forever? 
Um, yeah, so that was that one video where I didn't post it because you weren't in town. Yeah. And I didn't think, like, it was good odds. Was it this last so tour? I yeah, it was, okay. a, it was a special pipe. It was the week two city tour special pipe thing, and I did For get... For some reason, I, I mean, I think you told me this. Yeah, I got but, everything in that pipe. But I didn't register that he... He's just so cute, guys. I'm having yeah. some FOMO. I got him twice. I miss him. I tried level two. really hard. I know you got did. Got everything else. But he's coming back. Were he's coming back. In, in the, the pipe, pipe, right? This week, yeah. Is that a 50, yeah. 50 piper? And spotlights or no spotlights? Probably not. Oh. So. Well. And I think that the uh, value of the drivers that are yeah. going to be in this one are probably going to be a little bit better. Especially since you had already gotten all of the carts. Yeah. They probably wouldn't have been as good to just keep on getting those carts. Yeah. Be more advantageous this week. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well. So level 6 and 1190 base points for the driver. Ooh, here we have a double feature. Sunset Cloud. I can't believe you am at level 7 already. But you know what? I think in order to be able to have a double feature, he's got to be level 6. Okay. This course unlocks when the Sunset Cloud is at level 6. Gotcha. Um, otherwise, I would probably using the cart that you have at level 6. Guys, it is such a pretty cart. The Dark Hopper. I love it so much. I kind of really want to just buy a car and paint it that color. <laughs> Maybe when we get an RV, we'll paint that, that color. That would make excellent YouTube content. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to buy an RV, and we're going to paint it that color and call it our <laughs> dark hop rod because we hop around the country. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm working on it. I'm trying to convince him. And then we've got the oldie but a goodie. Yep. Dry Bowser Umbrella coming in coming in clutch again. That has paid its dividends to you mm -hmm. like 1,000 fold. It's not too shabby. I like it. I don't have a spreadsheet to back up my data, but I'm pretty sure it's helped you out one million times. It's definitely not the first time I've used it in ranked, or the second, or third, or fourth, or fifth, or sixth. Or the last. <laughs> yeah, it's great. So, all right. So, with putting in all that data, looks like we're going to get around 40,000 points. So, you're already at like 91. Holy God. Yep. That's great. Which is good, because this new track, Mario Knows... He looks at my inventory before giving us the new tour, and he's like, hmm, where does Frenzy Fanboy not have mm -hmm. any drivers, or if he does have a driver at very low levels. Mm -hmm. So I've got, I've think raced, I've raced think, him once. I think Mario does this to everyone. I know. <laughs> Same situation for me. You think that they have like uh, statistics and like uh, PhDs in game theory and all this stuff. <laughs> Probably. It's also just a brand new course, so. Yeah. They don't have a lot on it. Yeah. All right. So I got to get some more base points on them. Oh, okay. and up here. Let's do this. Move over to this third one. All right. So I think this is a really short course, too. Yeah. It's if you're very lucky short. enough to get two frenzies, yeah. I mean, I'm not even talking three frenzies. Yeah. Just two. Two, because there's only four boxes on the whole entire mm -hmm. thing. And if you have a level one, the likelihood of you getting two frenzies is really rough. Yeah. It's hard. So I'm thinking 100 actions, if you're willing to grind for a while, if you have a level one. Or if you're like me, maybe 75. Yeah. Um, but I'm thinking since there are, so it's a trick track, which means that there's a lot of jumps. Yep. And jumps, you get more points than you do coins. Yep. And so that's going to bring your bonus points per action up to 64. It cool. might be somewhere along the lines of like 61 or 62, but. Yeah, we'll see. 64. So, I'd be using him, but where I'm deficient in driver, I make up for in cart with the Silver King. Man, I'm glad Thank that goodness. they buffed this one for you. On a non city course, finally. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, level seven, 700 points. Looks like there is a super. Yep. Brand new course that they put a super cart? They buffed a super cart? That's with? exciting. Of course, it's one that apparently not very many people have buffed. I don't Probably. even know if I have it. Maybe I do. Because it's not in the shop, and yeah. it's like one of the gazillion that you could get in a pipe. Okay. And apparently, oh, maybe you can't even get it in a pipe, because I literally only have this at level one. How, How many pipes? You... How do you think you got it? It may have been like some like tour gift, and like that's the only way to get it. Okay. Do you have it? Let's see. You nope. have it at level two. I have it at level two. How do you have it at level two? I don't know. 
Yeah. Or maybe, ah, uh, maybe it was like in a special cart pipe. And I pulled it twice. And you pulled it twice. That could have been it. Let us know in the comments, because now yeah. I'm curious. What is this, is this even called? The Dasher 2? Because I have it at level 2, but only 300 points, which means I haven't raced it much. Well, it starts out at 250, right? Yeah, but I'm just saying so it's not like enough. it wasn't ranked enough for me to yeah. warrant like, putting tickets on it to get it to level 2 on its own. Yeah, and I guess I, had to have... I have it at 330, so I guess I've raced it a few times. I don't know. Okay, moving on. Glinting glider. This was one we purchased, right? Yeah. Wasn't this, this one, is of one of the 399 ones? ones that has been getting a lot of good buffs. Yeah. It's like the happy ride of gliders. If I would have put tickets on it early, it would have been much more advantageous. But right. it's always been in those races where it's like a lot of new stuff. Yeah. And the other two races, I can already get like enough points. Yeah. And so then it doesn't really make sense to spend tickets on something that I don't need. Totally. To spend tickets on and i have the nabbit oil uh glider mm -hmm. and i haven't i only have it like a level one or level two but i've used like it's been available as a top shelf in quite a few races recently yeah because it was probably one of those that was in a second week pipe that was mm -hmm. super hard to get yeah i never use it because i always sense. feel like i have one other one that's higher yeah but all right so with all those guys it looks like if I were to get the 100 actions, we'd be around 19,000. So that brings you at like 20, what, 101,000? Well, let's see here. This very last tab, it lets us know. So, if we have 50,000, 40,000, 19, so about 110. Nice. So, but what does that 110 mean? Am I up against five people that have... Just show us! Like 130,000? Show us already! I want to see... Make this not so stretchy. Let's do some yoga. Okay. Oh. So we got 97,000, 98,000, yeah. 96,000, and 92,000 in first, second, and third. So knowing you, you're going to grind on Maple Tree Way and Sunset Wild Tea. Yep. So and we then... definitely got to get the highest that we can mm -hmm. on those two. And then. Just see what happens. Just see what happens on the Chuckle Island. Hopefully, I mean, there's going to be the weekend. I don't know if this guy, so I don't even think he's like player or the, oh, no, he is tier 70. Yep. He's got a lot of drivers. He's got a fairly respectable high score, 54,000. Mm -hmm. Let's check his badges out. He's got 539 badges. That's a lot of badges. Gonna go down. Ooh. Ooh he look at all those. So he's got, Top 1,000 since they started doing ACR. Yeah. And he got a top 100 a year ago. Okay. With... Oh, it doesn't let you. Oh, you can click on So it's the Halloween tour because it's... Oh, yeah. Um, the Mario with the pumpkin on his head. Yep. And it looks like he did in the Bowser one where Bowser Santa was there. Yeah, he's got a couple of 100s. Okay. He he probably like pops up every now and again, but his past few have been top 1,000. So yeah, we'll have to see. Cool. All right. So that's that tool. Let's go ahead and now switch over to. Do I already have it up? I thought I did. Here we go. <laughs> Okay. As everyone sees all my random... Come join us at the trunk or tree. My math. October 28th. My email. <laughs> my home automation app. We're going to decorate our trunk and have little kids come get candy from us in a very non-creepy way. You're welcome to join us. Back at your friends and family, boy. Okay. So here we have the ACR calculator. Okay. There are a couple other calculators that are out there that you may or may not be aware of. Um, this one's probably the easiest to get to if you're watching this video. Yep. It's the last link in all of our descriptions. Okay. You download it. Both of these links, make sure that you make a copy. Yeah. The other day, someone was trying to um, modify some uh, cells and yeah. they got a, no a notification, someone like requesting uh, access to be able to modify yeah. the app. Or sorry, the, the, the document, and that's not going to happen. Yeah, so, just make a copy, then you have your own. Yep. You can own it for life. 
So what you gotta do is you put in all the names of the courses, you put in all the names of the items that you're using, like your drivers, your carts, and your gliders. Yep. And you also put in the levels and base points of each of those. It's quite a bit of data entry, but once you get it in place, it's super convenient. And a little pro tip, if you do have the uh, Antelev slash BNG uh, DKG tracker, so yeah. it's the driver cart glider tracker, mm -hmm. They've got a new tab in there that as you have, as you keep your loadout up to date, okay. like your inventory up to date in here, for every tour, the their tool knows what tracks are in this tour and cool. pulls your highest valued thing. So you can actually copy and paste That's awesome. everything from their tool into this tool. That all save of, you a lot all of, time. of the names, all of the levels, all of the base points. Do that. <laughs> and so that's what I did. Yeah. And it took like a fraction of the amount of time. Yeah. We'll link to their sheet too in the comments. Okay. I'll have to find it. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to give you a really great tip and you will have to spend a lot of time doing it. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and do that. But then at the bottom, we've got this most used item. So what my sheet does is it takes a look at the most frequent items that are being populated in okay. the list. So it looks like Cold Ging, Cold Ging Boo. Baby Blurry Donkey. <laughs> King Boo Gold. Okay. King Boo Gold. I've got, and I'm gonna be using five times, then Chemic four times, yep. Wedding Peach three times. Yep. Same thing for the carts. So okay. Silver King and Sunset Cloud, a total of 11 times. That's awesome. Together. And then my gliders, the Dream Glider and Dry Bowser yep. Umbrella, total of 11 times. This is so nice, because you can just really easily know, like, oh, this is worth leveling up, because it helps me yeah. 11 freaking times. Thing is, though, is these, uh, the Dream Glider and Dry Bowser Umbrella, I already have completely maxed out. Yeah. It's great. So the swooper would be the next thing yeah. to look at. So but... That is cool. If you're close to leveling it, or to maxing it out and don't want coins, I think... Uh, in the second or third um, autumn tour, okay. the swooper is going to be um, an available gift, like either in the tier shop or in the, sorry, the token shop okay. or um, like tour gifts or something. Cool. All right. So the other thing is in this tool, it's dynamic, but it's dynamic in a cool way where it caters to your actual skill level. Okay. That's awesome. So it takes a look at your loadout. But then as you're playing, you're going to go ahead and record the actions that you have on your courses and then the bonus points yeah. that you get in the courses. And then the calculator is going to calculate uh, bonus points per action mm -hmm. value here. And it's going to take all that information and over on the second tab, mm -hmm. it's going to populate this calculator. And what this calculator does is it takes your average actions that you have on all of the courses that you've used yep. or that you've played and that you've logged, mm -hmm. and then your bonus points per action for each of the courses that you've logged, and then your levels and bo bon or base points, mm -hmm. and then it tells you what your projected score is. That's awesome. So here, based on this one race, so if it's if I'm averaging 145 actions for the whole entire tour, okay. and I can get about 60 bonus points per action for the whole entire tour, yep. based on this loadout, if I don't level anything up, I can get about 1.2 million points. Cool. Um, now, Alex Young, on um, usually Mondays, the first Monday of a tour, yep. he posts on Reddit his um, his ACR projections for top 10, top 100, and top 1,000. And so you would pop in for the top 1,000 and top 10, or top 100, mm -hmm. the value that he puts in his projection right there. Yep. And what the middle part of the tool down here does is it tells you what your average actions that you need to have is based on your bonus points per action. Yep. So, for example, if the cutoff was a million for top 1,000 and 1. 1.4 million for top 100, yep. I would need to do 114 actions mm -hmm. average yep. for everything to get top 1,000 or 179 actions yeah. for top, uh, sorry, top 1,000 be 114 top 100 would be uh, 179 it's nice and color-coded for you so you know yeah. green is good red is fat chance yep 
And so this also helps you if you're really close, like say if this 178 was actually like 151, yep. then going back to the input sheet, I could then figure out, okay, without actually mm -hmm. putting tickets on stuff, if you just change the ticket and base points value here, yep. it'll tell you how close you can get. Yeah, it's or a nice simulation. Meter exceed. And it'll be yellow if you're close. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah. That's about it. Let us know how you guys are doing. If you're excited about this tour and are wanting to go for ACR, mm -hmm. if you have questions about the um, ACR calculator that yeah. we have, let us know in the comments. For sure. Um, or you can get a hold of us on Reddit or Discord. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. Awesome. Thanks for putting this. Bit. Thanks for putting this together. By the way. Yeah. It's a lot of work. It was fun, you know? Yeah. I enjoy sharing it with people, too. I think it helps some of you guys out, so. Cool. All right, so now we get to share something that's made us happy or that we're grateful for. Okay, you go first. Have you thought of one? No, that's I right. Have, I have one, so I'll, I'll go first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so something that made me super happy was um, an interaction that I had with a couple of Mario Karters this week. Okay. Um, that... I guess I had kind of like put in motion a little while ago and then completely forgot about. And then out of the blue, um, I get some messages. Okay. And uh, so everyone knows Tabor from Studfit's um, channel yeah. where he's always there for the rundown and um, cart talk. Yeah. And Tabor's the mastermind behind all of the, the stats and data that go into um, their top stud fits and Tabor's top 10 yeah. um, driver carts and gliders that they've been doing for probably like a year now or more. Yeah. And I felt super bad for Tabor because during the second year anniversary, he um, was saying how there were so many buffs. There were like three over 300 buffs. Okay. And he was going through the app and clicking on every single item, which is over like probably 400 or maybe close to 500 things. Yeah. And taking a look at every item's courses and comparing it to his previous sheet as far as like... Okay, that's a lot of work. Super tedious. Yeah. Usually it takes him like two to three hours, he was saying. Yeah. This one, I think he said it was on the order of like eight to 10 or something. Holy cow. And he, he, got, he got Thank to the you. point where he was like... I think I'm gonna quit. Like yes. this is just ridiculous. Like yeah. Mario can't keep on doing this to right. me, doing me dirty like yeah. this. And so at the same time, um, there was a YouTuber who mm -hmm. found our channel, okay, and had mentioned that he likes watching us while he's working. I yeah. guess like he listens to us in the background. And um, his name was Half Hydra. Okay. And I've mentioned it yeah. before. I got so excited. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Is this like the Half Hydra? Yeah. Like one of the main. Um, data miners mm -hmm. in Mario Kart and so I text him or like I respond to his comment I was like dude are you are you the data miner guy yeah turns out he is and we just start talking and he's telling me about like all of his passions and stuff that he likes to do and uh he had mentioned that he I mean obviously he data mined so he knows how to interact with the app and like the the programming of the app yeah and so when Tabor had said that he was having such a hard time doing all this stuff manually, and Half Hydra was saying that he's got the know-how to be able to get all this information within seconds. Yeah. Like he can write a script or like a little program or something. He just plugs his phone in, he pushes the start button, and then he gets a bunch of data. That's awesome. So I reached out to Half Hydra. I was like, hey, do you think you could reach out to Tabor on Discord? Yeah. And uh, like see if you could... Oh, it looks like our screen went away. That's okay. That's okay. We're done. Um, do you think you could see if you could help him out? Because yeah. I think it takes him a long time to put stuff together. And yeah. I'm kind of under the impression that you have like some type of magic code or something that yeah. can maybe help him out. So I get a text or a Discord message from Tabor this week. Okay. And he's like, so turns out that there's this random guy that I don't know really who he is, but he says that he has this uh, program that yeah. he can get all this information. And he sends me this spreadsheet that literally saved me two to three hours today. That's awesome. Thank you so much for like making the connection for us. I love that. And I was like, I am so happy right yeah. now. Like I had totally forgotten Yeah. because I had asked Half Hydra. I was like, hey, like if you have the time, like yeah. do you think you could reach out to him and just see if, you know, you could work something out? Yeah. 
That's so, so fun. I get right on with Half Hydra and I'm like, Thank you. Dude. Yeah. Thank you so much. Totally. Like, it's so helpful. I appreciate, first of all, the people in this community are just awesome. They are. The and best. then it's so fun because there are so many of us that have so many different like talents and backgrounds. Yeah. And how we can collaborate with one another. Totally. And I love it. Like help each other out. So anyway, totally made my day, totally made my yeah. week. I was so happy. I mean, I didn't even really do anything. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> but that's fun. All I did this. was yeah. I just like connected two dots yeah. together and Tabor's super happy. And it turns out Half Hydra, he's actually helping a couple other people that oh, have. Oh, how cool. Uh, like d data sheets that have yeah. to do with, with Mario Kart that the, the community is benefiting from. Yeah. So anyway, How I'm just, I'm just, that? I'm just super glad. And That's like, awesome. it just makes me real happy when, when people are selfless and yeah. are willing to, to, to share their talents and abilities. And, you know, if everyone just scratches each other's back every now and again, like the world's just a happy place. It's such a happy place. <laughs> so it's a great world to live in. <laughs> Half Hydra. Thank you so much. Yeah. Tabor. You're awesome. You're awesome. We love you guys. Yeah. Can't wait to chat with you again on uh, Cart Talk yeah. and see your guys' rundown. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I don't even know how to ta top that. You don't gotta top it. Well, I'm gonna um, cap that one with, I am super happy. I mean, obviously I love the community. I'm a huge part of it and I have fun with you guys, but I'm happy that you are making so many awesome friends through this. Mm. Like. I just think it's cool. Like, I love seeing you light up and get super excited about the relationships that you're building with people and yeah. just like being able to contribute. And yeah. I just think it's great. And I admire you for your excitement. It's fun. Because to be honest, like we have friends that live around here, but we're not nobody's, yeah. no, and, and we have like some common interests. Totally. But I wouldn't say that we have like common passions. Yeah. We have a lot of friends, but we're transplants. So we both grew up out West. We live in the South now. And so we have a lot of friends, but they're very, um, Wonderful friends, love the friends, obviously, but they're, how do you, even, uh, there's an actual term for this type of friend, but it's like a circumstantial friend where you meet them because you guys like live in the same vicinity or go to okay. the same church mm -hmm. or something like that versus like being a part of the same hobby. So you can have like incredible friendships with people that are in like your community and near you, but the friends that you like cultivate relationships through hobbies, like, or like work or like things that you have like really in, like similar interest in mm -hmm. like those are the, all friendships are fun but those friendships are unique and really cool so definitely. i'm happy that you have some of those yeah that's cool yeah it's fun like i definitely talk more with people in london and australia yeah. and <laughs> the netherlands and yeah right <laughs> and all over the u.s than i do yeah. with people at work and right and here, <laughs> it's in, fun. here in the south so yeah that's yeah. awesome cool well, that makes me happy for you. Yeah. So. Well, thanks guys for watching. Uh, we're over a half hour now, yeah. so. Good times. <laughs> a little trick that some people do is they uh, put our videos on uh, the two times. Yeah. <laughs> then he sounds, I don't know if you can even understand what I say at two times speed, but you sound normal. <laughs> I sound normal? Because uh, do I sound drunk normally? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. You're great. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what it is. I, I said it wrong. I was like, there's no backpedaling on this. You speak normal. I speak at two times speed in normal life. Yeah. So then when they play us at two times, you're, you're at, at two like times. Four X. And I'm at like four yeah, X. Okay. So. That makes sense. Oh, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. And I'm not going to slow down. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Anywho. All right. Well, thanks guys for joining. And good luck in ranked. Good luck with your bite pulls if you're pulling for Tanuki. Yeah. Have fun with that. Yeah. I hope you get it. So apparently there's, we're not going to go into it, but there's a bunch of controversy. Mm -hmm. People think that the the leaf skill is broken and... Because it's like a bubble. It's yeah, like, it's oh. like part bubble, yeah. part uh, boomerang, part bullet bill, part... Confusing. <sighs> part confusing. Well, cool. Part horn. <laughs> you just keep I going. can't even think of the things. <laughs> It's not part coin box though. We know that it's definitely, definitely not, not. It's definitely not OP. <laughs> All right. Well, until the next video. <laughs> this is like the eighth time <laughs> that I've tried to like wrap this up. Oh, actually. I'm just <laughs> May the frenzies be forever in your favor. See you guys later.